So what happened is that I couldn't, emotionally couldn't, go on an institution. I couldn't, because it would, it would just destroy me for days and days and days, weeks. You know, I'd be watching television, and I'd, I'd hear the screams, and I'd smell the smells, and I just, it was, it was no good. So um, um, then a couple of interesting things happened. You know, the, the, the Laconia case was over, and the Penhurst case was winding down, and, and people are now all across our country are getting out, but there's still we, we the Mansfield case, the, the Connecticut case. So Gilhul and Lasky call and say, well, you know, can you help us? And you can't say, no, I can't help. I'll help. You know? I hope you close it down. Well, it's not that I don't want to help people in institutions. I want to help them get out. Right? I don't want to help them stay there. So I, we go, the, the rule was, if you want to deinstitutionalize, we'll break our backs to help you. Uh, we'll drop everything, and we'll help you. So we go to, the, to testify in the Mansfield case. But I refuse to go and see the, the lawyers. You know how lawyers are. They, they, they have their plans, and they're thinking about testimony. And they think they've got to prepare their witnesses for the best testimony. And they say, okay, we've got to go tour the place. I say, I can't do it. They say, look, you can't get on the stand. You can't get on the stand and testify it's a horrible place if you've never been there. I said, yes, I can. <laughs> and he said, well, your testimony's not going to hold any weight. I said, I'm sorry, but I can't go there. I mean, I really couldn't do it, you know. And so, golly, so it, was, it was a legal feat. It was a legal trick. And the way they did is that they, they uh, uh, we talked about, about uh, ideas. And then other people like Jan Nesbitt and Bob York and all those folks, um, Wes Williams, I forget who they all were. But they went on in the wards and got you know, the, the actual documentation of atrocities and, and, and human neglect and all the things that you know are there. I mean, it's not, I mean, if, you, if you've seen 50, you know, you go to the 51st, it's going to be there. You know? I, was, I was one of those. You were one of those? Yeah. Well, so, so you saw it, right? So, you know, I didn't have, so that, so, and yet we won the case. We, meaning, the, 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 to me, the, the, the people of the country won the case, and, and certainly the parents. Certainly the parents. At great cost. Oh, wow, what a cost. But what a great victory it was in Connecticut. And so that was nice. So Lasky said that the ARC, the Connecticut ARC, had a, had a celebration. And, and they gave Frank Lasky the, uh, the, uh, an award for his... I mean, a lot of people made great commitments, but certainly Frank did, and they, they wanted to acknowledge him. So they gave him this award. And, Frank announced on a, I'm sitting now next to, next to and he's on, this, on this table, and so he got up and he gave a little acceptance speech, and he said, that's the last institution we, case we're going to do. And they had been involved in, uh, in the Public Interest Law Center of Philadelphia had been involved in, the, you know, in fighting these places for just years. And that, so that's, that's it. That's going to be about the end. So I breathed a sigh of relief, because I can't say no to those people. You know? I just love them so much. And... Um, a couple of months pass, and I get this call. It's, uh, it's Frank. I said, oh, how you doing? He said, well, um, have you ever been to Oklahoma? I said, uh, um, what are you talking about? He said, well, you know, they're, they're withholding medical treatment from children with spina bifida and letting them die. Well, we knew that. And then we, the, the Gannett News Service did that expose on Oklahoma, Oklahoma shame. And you read that, and the, the treatment these people are getting, I mean, it's just, and he said, you know, we've got to do it. So here we go again. So now we got uh, in this one institution in, in Hissom, Oklahoma, almost 600 people under age 21. Can you imagine that? In this day and age? And it's a new, you know, 20 years ago, 25-year-old facility. And, and, and so I had to go back, and I, and, uh, I had to go back. So we go, and I go see. What did I see? People playing with their spit, you know, slapping themselves in the head, laying on the floors in feces, crunched up in a corner, rocking and oming, and, and I just I had I just brought it up again. You know? and so we had, you know, had to go to we went to trial in Oklahoma. So what am I going to do? Teach teach the person to not play with his spit. What are you going to do? Go into a ward, everybody's locked up. I mean, just, I mean, I'm, I can't see it anymore. Why, should I go to another one? Should I go there and help the staff do language development and pre-vocational training at the institution ward, you see? I'm convinced. <laughs> you, you got me. Um, in fact, I may stop going to those. <laughs> um, I don't know how you can. You know? yeah. Tell them to send you a video of a warm, sensitive, delicate, interpersonal experience. 
and then go.